Earlier this year, the Duke Cancer Center opened a brachytherapy suite that enables gynecologic and prostate cancer patients to receive high-dose, targeted radiation therapy in an outpatient setting. This highly delicate procedure, which used to encompass one or possibly two overnight hospital stays, now lasts only a few hours. A dedicated space incorporates the technology and safety features that once could only be accessed by utilizing three to four separate rooms, thereby minimizing time, discomfort, and safety concerns inherent in delivering high-dose radiation. So brachytherapy is a way of delivering radiation directly to a tumor and limiting the dose to all normal tissues all around it. So it uh, allows us to place a radioactive source directly within the tumor and due to the way radiation comes out of it, uh, the dose to normal tissue is extremely limited. So we can get very good control of tumor uh, and minimal side effects. Well, as recently as 10 years ago, if a patient was treated with brachytherapy for GYN or prostate cancer, it typically involved an inpatient stay for three to four days. And as promising as the technology and the therapy was, from my perspective and the perspective of patients, it was quite inconvenient. Many patients would describe the three to four days in the hospital as lonely because there were radiation safety precautions their family couldn't visit. Uh, and moving the patient around from room to room, uh, one always worries about infection, etc. It was very stressful for our patients, uh, and I think when an opportunity came to change that, uh, we, we took it. When I was recruited to Duke several years ago, I got together with a team of urologists, anesthesiologists, and physicists to try and design a suite, a shielded brachytherapy suite where all of the technology that would be required to deliver state-of-the-art high-dose rate brachytherapy was possible. It allows us to treat patients, plan the treatment all in the same area so that there's no hospital stay required, and from the time they come in in the morning until the time they leave to go home, it's usually two to three hours, and it, it has really become a much more convenient, patient-friendly, patient-centric type of treatment. I was diagnosed with small cell cervical cancer, and I'm not sure exactly how rare it is, but from what I've heard, it's pretty rare. My gynecologist at home had never seen it before, and from there I saw Dr. Chino, and he was able then to tell us that he felt like he could cure the type of cancer that I had. I was expecting it to be more like a surgical procedure, and it was not, really. It was not nearly as invasive as I thought it would be, you know, from what, the way it sounded. It was much easier to do. Yeah, so brachytherapy is an excellent tool for gynecologic cancers, uh, and it increases the, our ability to control the tumor within the pelvis, uh, and actually results in improved, uh, not only disease control, but improved overall survival for the patients that we're able to treat that way. And so it clearly is one of, just an excellent tool for treating our patients.